gonna try and keep this video short and succinct. I bought a case from bulk.com. I spent $180 and we're gonna see the things inside. Again, bulk.com, 180 bucks. It's mostly uh, like topicals and makeup and that kind of stuff. But the reason I really bought this was not because of those, but because there were 34 general merchandise items in here that were not, I repeat, not on the manifest. So while Bulk usually has every single thing lined out for you, uh, which limits the profits in my opinion, this box, this case, has some wild cards. And the wild cards might make me some money, so let's get into it. Whimsical by Wenji as seen on YouTube. Let's see what this bad boy, we're gonna scan it. Uh-oh, it's, is it Crayola? No, it's not Crayola. It does require approval, so I'm not gonna sell this. Looks like it was a Target item. Oh, they're selling for 10 bucks. So this one is going to a local auction. We got a bunch of these. This looks like it's, uh, my name is uh, Mayamo. Let's see what they're selling for, but most likely I'm gonna lot these up and sell them on eBay. No Amazon listing. When you scan the barcode and it says nothing showed up, that means there's no Amazon listing. You can do the same thing on eBay. You go to the search bar, put the camera in there, put the camera, uh, that red line over the barcode. Let's see if, no, no, nothing pops up still. Bilingual nameplate, bilingual nameplate uh, lot. Maybe this will show up as something good. No, this is really not showing us anything at all. One, five, six different name tags. So there are 12 uh, Mayamo dinosaur tags. Seven of these, oh, whoops, eight. But okay, now I think I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven name plates of this variety. Two name plates of this variety. One name plate of this variety. Nine name plates of this variety. I have no clue what these sell for. I would guess that they don't sell for a lot of money. I'm looking up school name plates on eBay, and it looks like a 36 pack or a 30 pack sells for like five bucks, ten bucks, right around there. So I think I can get five bucks per for those. And it looks like, how many sell a day? I'm gonna filter by, uh, let's see, sort and recent first, because I wanna see how many sell right now. And it looks like that didn't sell, that didn't sell, that didn't sell, that sold. So on the 18th, one, two, two sold, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, ended so two out of nine sold not the best. What is it like 15% probably around there? Uh, not the best sell-through rate and these aren't really big lots So maybe if I lot them all together I'll have a better odds of selling them for like, you know, two bucks a piece or whatever I don't know, but uh, all in all not feeling too hot about those. We got some more stuff though this uh, Any tears no tears open story four piece packing cube set. I scanned this on Amazon, no dice, nothing on eBay either. Again, this is gonna go to a, uh, well probably not even a local auction. I think it's too cheap to go to a local auction. So maybe I can lot this up with like some home goods and sell them at an auction that way. Slime, Meltdown, Nickelodeon. Pile it on till there's a Meltdown, it's a game. Only at Target, two or more players. It looks like this bad boy is selling for uh, $13.85. And then the next highest seller is, uh, oh, actually, hey, it's Bricks to Clicks. Those are the guys in Toledo I was in the show with. That's pretty cool. So they got these they, at, at $14.69. Amazon has it at $14.99. So, oh, shoot. I guess I'll have to scooch in at um, <laughs> like $13.99. Or $13 and so if you want to see how much an item uh, is worth, after uh, fees and shipping, you click on it on Amazon, see the sales rank 301k, not really that good, but it'll sell in a few months. It's almost Christmas, so it'll sell in a month, I'd bet. Uh, and then we go right here, it shows you kind of like a basic fee breakdown. If I was uh, FBAing it at $13.85, I would make $6.35, uh, not including the cost of purchase or shipping, which is going to be pretty pretty marginal. And if I were to do it seller fulfilled, 
at that same price. Uh, let's say it weighs over a pound, so I bet it'd be like seven bucks to ship to it. We'll say seven fifty to be safe. Uh, I'll make four twenty-seven. So again, not good. This is better stuff for like a flea market, maybe. Got some more. Looks like little uh, accessories, gift tags. One, two, six. Looks like we have 11 gift tags. These are just for, you put them on a gift, they say, hey, it's for me. You blew me away this year. Man, that's, uh, could be taken the wrong way if you just were to read it like that. Yeah, so we have 11 of these. A lot more of these, like, paper goods. These are paper accents. This appears to be some paper stuff. I guess the good thing about paper is it doesn't expire, really. Uh-oh. I felt a liquid. <laughs> The one thing that they that they put in a bag inevitably leaks. Old Spice Ultra Smooth Moisturizing Face Wash, and it leaked out on this. That's okay, it isn't like a huge leak. Tops. This might have been what was leaking too. Anti-itch tension relief. Yeah, it's pretty gooey. That's what was leaking. All right, so I pulled out a whole bunch of these paper accessories. And again, I think if we get two bucks uh, per on these, in a, in a lot, that'll be, that's probably the best I can do. Some Olay Regenerist. Uh, I'm not sure if I can sell this brand on Amazon. I'm gonna look it up. I can sell topicals. Topicals are a gated uh, category, for those of you who don't know what that means. Uh, well, you'll learn soon. I can sell it on Amazon, that's pretty nice. So I am ungated for the brand Olay, uh, and it looks like I will get, um, $22.35 for this, and then after fees, that's gonna end up being, well, I'll tell you. We'll say it ships for four bucks, it weighs about six ounces, so after fees, I should make $15. Some more beauty stuff, raw sugar, body butter, and sugar scrub. I wonder how it tastes, I wonder if it tastes like sugar and butter. It's a beauty product, but there's no one selling it on Amazon, it's, there's zero offers. So what I think I'm going to do is sell this under this listing, and I can ask like 40 bucks for this. I'm not sure what the retail price was, uh, probably 20 bucks, I'd guess. Um, but I think I can get 40 bucks for it just because there's no other sellers. And when there's no other sellers, you can dictate the price as the only uh, supplier. I kind of was hoping that all the general merchandise stuff was more like beauty products, but I think it was all that paper stuff. Bath crystals. I looked this up on eBay and there are no completed listings. Although if you look to see what is currently uh, listed, there are, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. There are five listings for sale and they're all around 15 bucks. So again, this, I think a lot of these things are gonna get lotted up and sold at a local auction. Scissors, hard to resell these for any sizable amount of money. Locks, lots and lots of locks out of here. Master lock, uh, there's two styles, one DLJ, which is a key lock, number seven, whatever the hell that means. Five locks this size, and three travel locks this size. I looked up the travel locks on Amazon and they say they're selling for $26.75, but the sales rank is $665,000, and that's really high. So I'm gonna look at eBay now to see if there's any sales velocity at all. On eBay, it looks like they're selling more for in like the eight to $10 range. Uh, if you can, you can tell on my phone, there's a few selling for $9.99, $8.69, $8.99, all around there. So if I lot these three together, I should be able to get 25 bucks for the three of those, and it'll, it'll only cost, it'll, it'll ship first class mail. I'd guess this thing weighs about two ounces, so probably six to eight ounces total. That'll put us at about a $4 shipping cost, so uh, 21 bucks, and then the fees. Uh, so we're gonna come out of here making like $19 on these. These locks are pretty much the same. We're seeing the same sales pattern uh, between like nine and 12 bucks per lock. I have five of them. So I think I can sell the whole lot of five for probably $50, 10 bucks a lock. Uh, they're gonna be heavier, but I'll ship in like a bubble mailer. Um, if 
the, the buyer's far away. And if the buyer's close, then I'll use priority uh, volumetric shipping to pay probably between like seven or eight dollars to ship these all out. So uh, between the locks, I bet I'll make uh, maybe 60 bucks off those uh, those four, five, nine, nine lock boxes total. The reason I bought this is because there were a lot of similar things. So it's going to be, for the, the, the things I make the most money off of, those locks, the, uh, the name plates, it's only going to be like one or two, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll probably only make like 15 listings for the entire box between a local auction and, um, and selling on eBay or Amazon, which is good because... The less time I spend, the more time I have. Five Badger Bug sprayers. They were selling at $10.99, so I bet there's five of these here. I bet I'll make 25 bucks off the five of these. Here's the remainder of the stuff in the box. So rather than go through all this little stuff, I'm gonna pull it all out and then divide the stuff into things I'll sell individually and things I will sell just in like an auction lot. Now the fun part where I say what I think all this stuff will sell for and how much money I'm making or losing per hour because certainly sometimes you lose money. So I broke it up into Amazon listings, eBay listings, and auction at a local auction. And very few things are being sold on Amazon. Just those three things, which is annoying because I'm gonna have to do uh, I figured it took me like 20 minutes to go through all this stuff, uh, but there's going to be 30 picks needed for all these listings and the auction listings, and that should take me about two hours to do. So I'm looking at probably two and a half hours all in, and I need these numbers to be above 180 or else I'm losing money. So on the native deodorant, I said 10 bucks profit. It's selling for like 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, this highest lash product, eight bucks profit. And this Derma E product, I'll make $12 on. So all in all, 30 bucks on those, and that's profit after fees, after shipping. This stuff right here is going on eBay, uh, as well as the locks you saw a little bit ago, but those are across the desk. So these five Badger anti-bug sprays, I should get, uh, what did I say? I'll get 40 bucks for the five of those. This nut game right here, I'll get five bucks profit for, and that sucks because I hate listing things that I make so little money on. But for the video, I'm gonna do it. The pomade right here, I'll get 10 bucks profit for. The raw sugar lips, you saw those? Or maybe that was these actually, there's two of these right here. Two of these raw sugar lips, I should get 10 bucks profit for those. There's this Neutrogena Ivory 10 makeup, I'll get 10 bucks uh, profit off of this. It'll sell for 15 bucks and I'll make 10 bucks off of that. There's the Olay Regenerist Night Recovery Cream. And I checked all of these. You open them up to make sure that none of the seals are broken, that they're not used, uh, because sometimes they are gonna be used. All of these happen to be just shelf pulls, which is how the case was advertised. So uh, 10 bucks on that. There's this Elf Primer Hydrating Face Primer. I should make, uh, let's see, six bucks on that, which is a joke, but I gotta do it. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, over here, we have these locks. I should get 40 bucks for all these locks and 20 bucks for that set of three uh, box. Well, there's 12 total, but it's three sets of four. So when all those things are taken into account, we're looking at uh, 30 bucks on Amazon and $181 on eBay. So basically, the eBay items are going to take care of the initial cost. And the reason, uh, how did I choose between Amazon, eBay, and local auction? So if there's an Amazon listing, that's my first bet. Easiest to list, easiest to ship, and oftentimes the most money I'll make is on Amazon. eBay is things that uh, sold at least one item in the past month. And the auction stuff are things that I didn't think would garner enough search traffic uh, on eBay to sell, like in the case of the gift tags and the nameplates, but I, I still know uh, people want to have, or it just is not worth listing. So like all this stuff right here, I'm going to put in a like home goods uh, auction, not home goods the brand, but like goods for the home. Uh, I'm going to put that in an auction there as well as these, uh, I thought about maybe doing like a, you know, a young girl stocking stuffer type auction, but I think I'm just gonna say they're all 
uh, home goods. And I only, on my little list, I only said 20 bucks off of that. So if I can make 20 bucks off all these things, which I think is pretty realistic, uh, that'd be a win in my book. In regards to these nameplates right here, I said 15 bucks for all the nameplates and 15 bucks for all of the uh, gift tags. The retail on these is $1, so there's 19 name tags and 25 name plates. For me to get this $15 price, they have to sell for either 15 bucks on like Facebook Marketplace, which I still might do, or 20 bucks at a local auction. Someone in the comments said, hey Blake, can you do a video showing how you prepare to sell items on a local auction? And I said, sure, I'll do that. So maybe we'll see those. Um, after that, there's these Nickelodeon slime toys. And then I didn't even add up these two. I'm gonna just toss them in the home goods auction. They're only worth they're really not worth listing. Um, they'd sell for like seven bucks a piece and they each weigh over a pound. So really not worth anything at all. I'll toss them in there. And if I can get 70 bucks out of the auction, uh, the nameplates, the Nickelodeon Slimers time two, uh, and these, you know, other, other stuff there, then that puts me at $70. So 30 plus 181 plus 70 is 281 minus 180 is 101 which divided by two and a half for the two and a half hours i worked is 40 bucks uh and 40 cents an hour and that's just a general idea maybe it's going to be 35 bucks maybe it's going to be 45 bucks but that's generally what i should make once everything sells and there's always people who say oh but it hasn't sold you haven't made the money yet and to those people i say you idiot you're here because I've been doing this for a long enough time to make those assumptions. I'm curious, what do you think? Did I get ripped off? Did I get a good deal? Let me know in the comments below. A common criticism of bulk is that, oh, they cherry pick the good stuff. But as you can see, although there are no like huge, I you know, thousand dollar wins here, uh, it definitely is profitable. It's gonna take me a bit of work, but profitable nonetheless. That is the video. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't be a shithead.